Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the new update in Unify Protect 1.17.1, which was released earlier this morning. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have an Amazon store. I'll put the link in the description below. All right, so Unify Protect 1.17.1 is available on your UDM Pro, your UNVR, and your Unify Cloud Key Gen 2. Let's go over some of the improvements that they have listed here, and then I'll show you guys in my UNVR. So the first thing they add is Unify Video Migration to Protect. So if you had an old Unify video, you can migrate it over to your Protect easily. It adds RTSPS stream support. And the next couple things will be all based in the web UI. So it adds new smart detection zone editor, add a feature to record only your smart detections. It adds a smart detection type filter in the dashboard, add support for multiple smart detection boxes and event playback, add digital zoom to your time-lapse recorded videos, adds PTZ control in time-lapse when viewing live. I don't have a PTZ camera, so we won't be able to check that out. Adds a default zone sensitivity update, adds support to show disconnected devices and managed by others in the add device view. It adds support to adopt devices from other controllers using device password. It adds an uptime for adoptable devices. It adds connection loss message when a remote connection is lost. It improves time-lapse buffering and scrubbing experience. Redesign motion and privacy zone. Change the download icon. For camera, it reduces talkback latency. And my favorite update of all is for G4 cameras, it adds the vehicle detection. Below is a bunch of bug fixes. I'm not gonna go into that, but let's get over to my UNVR. So first thing first, you guys can see that I'm on protect 1.17.1. To update to this version, we're gonna to wanna to go to settings. And then we wanna go over to our applications. Under the applications, you're gonna to wanna to check for update and this will bring up an update for 1.17.1. Here's the new dashboard and we can see recent smart detections. And as you guys could tell, it is doing some vehicle detections. We could choose which types we wanna look at. So if we want it to be all types that will have person detection as well as vehicle, let's just select vehicle detection. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll click on one of the smart detections. And you could notice up here, there's a few different things. We could see that it's tracking the vehicle. We could turn off highlight smart detections. So if we turn that off, you won't see the red box around the car anymore. We could also change the speed of the playback of the video. So right now it's at normal, but we can make it go slower or we can make it go faster up to eight times. So that's a pretty useful update. To enable smart vehicle detection, we need to go to our devices. So I'll select my G4 doorbell. We'll go over to zones, and then we're gonna click on the smart detection zones. Here we're gonna add smart detection zone. Right now you can see the default zone which was created before, it's just for person detection. And they have added in this default vehicle detection which has it covering the whole camera. I don't need it that far up, move this de detection zone to where I need it. Now this will pick up anytime there's a vehicle crossing this detection zone. And we could also add a new zone and you could have person and vehicle detection in one. Now we could select when we want our cameras to record. So I'll go back to my G4 doorbell and we could go to recording. Here I have it set to 24 seven, always recording. But if you wanted to switch it just to smart detections, you could do that now. We could select smart detections and apply. And anytime there's a person tracking or vehicle tracking, that's when it will do the recording. Now let's go over to the time-lapse and see if we could do zooming within the time-lapse events that were captured. So here you could see a video recording at 1.09 AM of my front doorbell. Let's try to zoom in. And you could see that we could zoom in and we could change where we want to look. So that's one of the new features within this update. So all in all, I think that's a great new update. I've been waiting for the vehicle detection for quite a while. I like in the smart detection where you could slow the speeds down and speed it up. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.